I thought it was a real intense, I thought like with 15 minutes less than a half, I was like, wow, this is intense right now. I mean, every play was like, it was the last play of the Super Bowl. I mean, it was really something. Um, the level of our intensity for, from our players, and, and you know, I just thought we were extremely tough. Um, and I was really, really proud of them. And when we, I, I'm, as I just told them, this is not a moral victory for us. I mean, we really felt like we could have won that game in a lot of ways should have if we knocked us down our free throws a little bit. Um, that's two nights, two games in a row with our free throws are really bad. Um, so we know we have some things to fix, but again, our overall effort was tremendous. Questions for Coach Greenberg? Uh, yeah. um, just oh, just um, your general comments on the change in the defensive presence you guys had at the beginning. Um, what, did, what did you guys change going into this that just overwhelmed them? <laughs> well, uh, you know, I, I, we talked a lot about their size, their quickness, and, and our goal was to really like keep them in front, you know, let's not let them get layups. And I thought we did a tr great, great job in the first half of that. Um, and we had a lapse in the second half when they were doing ball screens and slipping. They got, I thought to start the second half, every make, not that they had a lot of them, but every make they had was a layup. Um, so we made some changes after that, but I thought, again, we didn't make as many adjustments as we did in the game the other night, but I, I, we played four guards against a bigger team tonight quite a bit, and um, you know, we played man. I was expecting to play a lot of zone tonight, but we came out so strong on our man, I was like, the heck with the zone, we're staying with it, and we're gonna you know, keep being aggressive with this team. How tough was it to get an offense going, especially since driving the paint was really difficult, especially with uh, Dunning, she's pretty big. Yeah. Um, well, I thought that ended up being really good for us. I mean, Chantel in the second half and Mel in the first half getting them in foul trouble by you know, keeping the dribble and keep attacking. Um, that was basically what, what we only had sometimes because we couldn't make passes. I mean, they were really full deny and they were big. We didn't get many post touches in the first half. Um, but we stuck with it. We ended up getting some more post, post uh, entry passes. And, um, you know, that, they played good defense, but I didn't think they rattled us. Any questions for Chantel? Uh, Chantel, great game today, 30 mm -hmm. points. Uh, you tied your career high with six three-pointers. Man, just give me a general comment on the game. Um, it was a tough one. Uh, you know, West Virginia is a very good team, but we just wanted to, wanted to go out there and like play our basketball. And we were able to do that. We just fell a little short in the end. But it was a great game overall. I hate to ask, but on that last shot, did you think you may have had it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I did too. <laughs> Oh, uh, I had a question. Um, 39 minutes at the end, how did that feel now, going down the stretch? Um, that fatigue stood out your head? Um, no, you just got to push through it. Um, we know the game was close throughout. Uh, it was just one of those things you have to fight through. It was a great game. Uh, both teams battling back and forth. So it's just like pushing through, fighting through. And that uh, kind of leads into what I want to ask. What role did fatigue play as the game went on? Well, I th it played a part throughout the game in, in spots, not not a whole lot in long stretches. I thought at one point in the first half, they looked very tired. Um, and then there was one one stretch in the middle of the second half where I thought they were outrunning us a little bit. Um, but then we, after one timeout, I thought we came out and looked totally refreshed. So, um, you know, Chantel and Mo put, both played 39 minutes, but they were, I thought, just as strong at the end of the game. And for you? Uh, this is what Coach said. Um, <laughs> Like they were tired, we were tired, and uh, we just tried to counter it, you know? And we were able to do that. Both teams pushed through at the end. It was just a, a tough battle, 40 minutes. It was, it was like a boxing match. <laughs> it was, it was a bit physical, but is there anything else for Chantel? Or? Yeah, Chantel, go ahead and describe, you know, I hate, I, again, I hate to ask you as well, but those, you know, those last two free throws, describe what it's like. The entire place goes silent. What's it like? I mean, you're just there on the line by yourself. And you know you have to make it. And um, it's just about taking your time and just doing, like, what you know how to do, like your, your routine. And I mean, I was just thankful they went in. So, yeah. It's easy. <laughs> anything else for Chantel? You can go. Anything for Coach Greenberg? Nothing. Yes. <laughs> Andrew, I'll, I'll yes. ask you the same questions <laughs> I asked Chantel a little bit earlier. Um, you know, as, and as Chantel, the hardest part of your, hard part of your schedule is going to be in the beginning of the season. How's that going to set the tempo for the rest of the season in terms of working hard and, and grinding out some of those games towards the end? Yeah, um, that's a good question. 
A lot, of, a lot of um, coaching staffs around the country. That's always a concern. Like you get up for the big games. You know, what about the small guys? And um, you know, I remember when I was a player, I used to look at my coach like, "What's this guy's problem? We're gonna be, we're gonna, we're gonna kill this team." You know, this is this team stinks. And I know that from a player's perspective, that that does happen. Um, I just constantly remind our players: just remember all those hot, sunny days when you were working out and you were getting in shape and those day, days when you, you know, said no to go do something because you were working on your game and this is why. We only get to play 29 games. Um, so you, we really, we have to value every single, every single opportunity we have. Um, and, and that's, the, I, I really, really stress that a lot. And within each game, we value every single possession. And, um, and it, they hear it a lot. And, and I think they really respect the game enough that they always want to play their hardest and they'll be ready for every game. What, what improvements can you take away from tonight's game? Well, I thought we had some unforced turnovers. Uh, 23 turnovers is, is a lot for us. Um, you know, the last several years we've been in the top 15 in the country with the fewest number of turnovers per game. And uh, this certainly isn't characteristic of us. Uh, and the part I didn't like about it was they were unforced. It wasn't like it was just our defense. We had some silly passes early on, um, in, in the, early in the first half. Um, you know, Free throws, you know, um, it's two games in a row, and uh, it's one of those things. How much you talk about it, then becomes mental. But you know, how mental can it become if we're already missing so many? So we we've got to figure that out. And um, you know, the thing I like most about our team is we really threw a lot of different things coming out of timeouts. We're going to go this, we're going to switch everything. And it's the second game of the season, and we were playing it like you know it's a championship game. And they were they're ready to make some adjustments that we haven't gone over at practice, which is 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 phenomenal. You know, as a coach, you can't ask for anything more than that. The players to be so alert and listening, and, and be able to put it on the floor. And uh, I've been really happy with that in the first two games. Is that something you stress with your team? Not not necessarily falling into a routine on set plays and being ready for anything? Right, yes, be ready for anything. And remember, we're going to do things on the fly coming out of timeouts. We've got to be a team that can make adjustments. You know, life is life is easy if you don't have to make adjustments. You know, And, it's, and basketball, it, any game is not going to be easy at times. Maybe we're not nitting, hitting shots or whatever, so we got to figure some things out on the defensive end. So, you know, we, we switched some some th things up tonight that we hadn't even talked about before, and we did some good things. So it's, it, that was really good. Anything else? Okay. You guys good? Okay. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.